Here's a question for Siri. Siri, what are Apple's plans for you in the future? The answer to that question got a little more intriguing Monday with a report from All Things D that the Cupertino-based company had hired Amazon's William Stazier to run the speaking search engine. Stazier had served as the president and CEO of Amazon's search and ad subsidiary A9 since 2006 and had been with the company since 2003. He was also instrumental in the development of the company's cloud search service. And that impressive pedigree has tech writers doing some serious speculation, wondering what exactly Apple plans to do with the service going forward. I more thinks Apple may be looking to the future of search, pointing out natural language may or may not be the next big thing, and Siri may or may not be the way natural language interfaces get popularized. But if they are, and if Siri is, Apple needs to have it rock solid and ready. Stazier could help make that a reality. Meanwhile, GigaOM theorizes the iDevice making company may be looking for new ways to monetize. They note that. Amazon's A9 isn't just a search function. It uses algorithms for advertising. Stacer's experience in this area could give Apple's iAds a boost as well. But in Gadget feels that it might just be a good old-fashioned rivalry with Google, whose Maps service Apple removed from their most recent mobile operating system. Considering the ongoing drama between Mountain View and the purveyors of all things i, we wouldn't be entirely surprised to see the two go head-to-head -head on Google's home turf. CNET, however, thinks it may be even simpler. Apple just needs somebody to run the ship. Some of the top brass in charge of Siri have left since Apple acquired the company. That includes co-founder and CEO Dog Kitloss, who left the company last October, and more recently co-founder Adam Shire earlier this year. Finally, this isn't the only move Apple has made in recent weeks. The company hired Jim Murgard, a former chief engineer with AMD from Samsung earlier this month. For Newsy, I'm Chris Lathan. Multiple sources, the real story.